God is a good gift to giver. And marriage is a gift on his endless list for us. It is not good for man to be alone. Genesis chapter 2. And so, God has given us this gift of marriage. What does that look like? Many would tell you, many here would tell you, sacrifice. To choose to elevate one over yourself. Practice sacrifice in your marriage. Practice it now in the little things that you will be ready to sacrifice in the bigger things in life. You look beautiful. Don't wear it. You look gorgeous. Love each other, sacrificial. Traditional vows help us define this commitment. They include phrases like, for better or worse, in sickness, for poor. Love is fleshed out not as an emotion, but as a choice. You choose to love when there is sickness, when we're poor, and even when a situation may seem worse. So thank God for the gift of marriage that requires sacrifice to experience real love. May your mornings bring joy and your evenings bring peace. May your troubles grow few as your blessings increase. May the saddest day of your future be no worse than the happiest day of your past. May your hands be forever clasped in friendship and your hearts joined forever in love. Your lives are very special and God has touched you in many ways and may his blessings rest upon you for all your coming days. Elise, I love you. <laughs> you are my best friend. Today I give myself to you in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you, to laugh with you, and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard, when our love is simple and when it is an effort. And I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all days of our life. Andrew, I love you. You're my best friend. Today I give you myself in marriage. I promise to encourage and inspire you. Not hard. To laugh with you and to comfort you in times of sorrow and struggle. I promise to love you in good times and in bad, when life seems easy and when it seems hard. When our love is simple and when it is an effort. I promise to cherish you and to always hold you in the highest regard. These things I give to you today and all the days of our life. Andrew, you may now kiss your bride, but not too crazy. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me be the first today to announce Mr. Andrew Coleman and Mrs. Elise Fritz.
I love you and appreciate you more than you know it. It is not very often that you get to watch two of your best friends get married to each other, unless you're Harry Potter or Ross from Friends. <laughs> I've had the honor of watching the love of these two people grow together into something special and unique. So here's to many more years of loving and growing. Cheers. Family is something that's, um, it's hard to define or describe because we all do it individually, but for me it's someone whose presence in my life brings joy and comfort and laughter. And family are the people that brave the storm with you. So I make this toast to you, my family. I'm so proud of the both of you and uh, so humbled by the life you've built and I'm really excited to see what you do next. So cheers, I love you.